So now that we're finished writing the resume, making it look good, how do we get it in a format where we can send it to people or print it? The best way is probably to convert it to a PDF file. PDF files are better than HTML or doc or mostly any other file because with a PDF you can be sure that it will look the same on anybody's computer or on anybody's device. So we're going to convert this page to a PDF file. I'm on Chrome right now, but if you're on Firefox or uh, Internet Explorer or Safari, you can do pretty much the same thing. Hit Control P for print. And on Chrome, we have a special option to hit Save as PDF. So we're not printing it to a physical printer, we're printing it into a PDF. And make sure that under Options, you do not check headers and footers. You can see a preview of what's going to look like page 1 and page 2 and we'll hit save save it in the folder that you want it to appear in hit save and if we go back to that folder we should see it there Joe Blogs teacher resume dot PDF and if we open this we have the resume in a format that anyone's going to be able to read pretty much in the same appearance and it's going to look the same way no matter where it goes. You can also print it from here in your PDF reader. You can print it physically. Now I want to go back to Chrome for a second because with Chrome if I hit Control P right now I'll have the option right here save as PDF but if you're on a different browser and you don't want to get Chrome for some reason then you're not going to be able to do this quite as easily. Uh, you're going to have to get a program that allows you to print to PDF. So I'm going to put instructions in the links for how to do that, how to get a program that will help you print to PDF if you're not using Chrome. But if you have Chrome or can install Chrome, by all means, it's the most convenient way to do it. So that's about it for the HTML resume. Here's our finished HTML resume in a PDF format so we can send this now to anyone via attachment. I know I did it with this template here but you can actually get a lot of different templates for HTML resumes. This is one that I found online that you could take do the same process as I just showed open it and edit it putting in your information instead of this guy's information. Uh, here's another one the uh, orange looking one that you could use and all of these are available as free templates online. If you want to use this, the Joe Blogs one or the Drugal one, they are available online. And if you want to look for other ones, there's some that are like more graphic looking than others. Just go on Google and type in free HTML resume templates, and you'll find uh, tons of files just like the one that I showed you. And y you fill them out in the same process. You unzip the file and open them on notepad and put in your information. So that is it for this tutorial on how to make an HTML resume. Hopefully you're now able to make a clean beautiful looking resume without much of a headache. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Have a nice day.